Okay, so now I want to talk about one of the most important parts of Peculiar Sounds V2, and that is the layer mixer. So if you bring this up, you'll see that we have this really, really dope aesthetic uh, on how you can control and manipulate uh, the layers inside of Peculiar Sounds. Now, now by default, you have access to two layers, uh, so you can layer any two sounds together uh, to be able to create as many combinations as you need, and I'm gonna show you how to really get in here and get down and dirty with them. So we're gonna go through this left to right to kind of show you what every, where everything is and what everything does. So uh, you have here uh, the volume, of course, right here on each layer. You can easily kind of manipulate that. You have your panning, you have your width. Maybe you want to make that layer sound like it's a pad or strings. You want to make it wider uh, than the bottom sound. There's an option there with pan and width. Um, and then you have your FX send where you can literally control how much goes into verb and delay. This is where you control that at. And then you can turn the layer on and off just by clicking this. Uh, right here is the glide, right? So you can easily add glide to any sound. Now this is one of our most requested features was to give people control over the glide. Uh, so now you can turn on glide on any sound. Like if you wanna make this piano glide, So if I grab like sign synth or something like that, and then you control how much glide you get. Maybe you don't want that much glide. Maybe just this. Or maybe you want it to be like really extreme. which could be great for like effects or like transitions or things like that. So under that, you'll find the MIDI channel and under here, you'll be able to change the MIDI channel of any layer, which is gonna be really important layer. Uh, later, I'm gonna show you some stuff that's really, really cool uh, on how you can use it to like split and use multiple keyboards. Over here, you have your high pass and low pass filter. So if you wanna thin the sound out or make it darker, easily do that right here. Uh, over here you have uh, again the sound browser where you can go through the sounds and be able to choose which sound you want on the layer. Uh, you have legato mode which works for when you put it in poly or mono. So if I make this a lead for instance, say I want to make this a lead, that turns out. Right? Uh, but I want to control how much legato is there. If I want it to be really wormy, so to speak, then I can So the more legato we have, the more wormy it feels, uh, for lack of a better word. You know what I mean? All the way down, if I take it to zero, it's gonna feel like just a regular mono source. Like no glide, right? So that's pretty much what you would use that for, just to kind of control how much glide is on your mono source, right? Uh, under that, you have your splitting and zoning, uh, and we're gonna cover that in another video a little bit later on uh, to show you how to split and zone uh, your sounds across the keyboard, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then over here, we have the transpose. Uh, for all of you people that love the transpose, I'm just messing with you. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all argue about that down in the comments, you know, section. Uh, I don't have no no qualm with people that love to transpose or whatever, but I didn't put it in here for that. I put it in here actually for little stuff like this that you see to where you can control the octaves of something, right? So for instance, with this particular uh, piano sound that I have, so with this particular sound that I have loaded up, if I have a, I have a piano down here, but you can hear that the sine synth is an octave higher than the regular piano. So now I get this feel, you know, and I can kind of blend it a little bit better to create a better sound, but you know, And it opens up a lot of possibilities for sound design that we'll be exploring over the coming you know, weeks and months as we really do a lot of tutorials on Peculiar. Uh, so that is what the transpose is for. And under that, you will find access to all of the new effects and the old effects inside of Peculiar Sound. So you have the master section, which covers like the 
standard stuff we had in V1, like the saturator, the three band EQ, our limiter, uh, and this new effect that we just added, which is called the lo Pfizer. Uh, and we will dig into that a little bit later on in this video, in this tutorial. Uh, you guys are gonna love that. But here's your send effects, which is like your reverbs and your delays, uh, which is controlled by that knob I was showing you a little bit earlier. You can control how much, you know, goes into it. It's like a parallel send or an aux bus, if you will, inside of Peculiar Sounds that you can send your verbs and your delays to and control, uh, really control the level of that. Uh, down here you have the mod effects, uh, which is our traditional effects that we had in Peculiar Sounds, our tremolo uh, and our chorus and phaser. Uh, but this new effect that we have called the filter mod, which we're also going to dig in to in detail a little bit later. All right. Uh, other than that, up here you have the ability to control how much modulation on the mod wheel uh, and how much pitch being amount that you get uh, all right here because that was a user requested feature. So uh, that's really, really cool. Something that you can really uh, kind of tap into with that. Uh, and then lastly, here we have the arpeggiator boys and girls, uh, which is really, really dope. Uh, you can arpeggiate two layers. You can arpeggiate both of them or you can choose to have one layer arpeggiate and another one be a foundation. Uh, opens up some really dope sonic uh, abilities that I'm really excited to show you guys a little bit later on. So that's pretty much the layer mixer in general and all the things you're gonna do. So we're gonna continue digging down into this and I'm gonna show you guys uh, all of the different other features and we're gonna dig into some of these modules and some of this stuff one by one.